Have you ever had people that you just wanted to get rid of, but you're still loyal to them? And you don't even know why you're loyal to them. And the only answer you have is, we got history. Because let me tell y'all something. If history is all you got with these people, but it's not good history, then what's the point of you keeping them? You feel me? And you might be like, well, Daniel, you can't just walk away from people like that. Sure you can. Sure you can. You hear me? Because let me tell y'all something, man. Sometimes you may have a greater purpose ahead of you. And you don't even know it because these damn people that are so toxic are holding you back. Look, I'm not saying get rid of good people. I'm saying to get rid of people that are constantly holding you back in life. Every time you get an opportunity come your way and you share it with them, they're like, hmm, yeah, that sounds good, but I don't think it'll work. You don't need to hear their freaking two cents like that, okay? Because let me tell you something, everything works, okay? Everything works out. The problem as to why a lot of shit don't work out in life is either you're surrounded by the wrong people, you're, you're, you're mentally surrounded by the wrong thoughts, or you just procrastinate so much that you just never took action on the shit that you want to accomplish in your life. Be real with yourself, man, because I'm going to tell you something. You can't always blame people. A lot of times you got to blame yourself. Take accountability and take responsibility for the shit that's going on in your life. Because if you are in a situation that you don't like, oftentimes it's mainly because of you. And I know, I know it's a hard pill to swallow, right? It is a hard pill to swallow. But once you swallow that pill and embrace that shit, man, you have the utmost power to change your situation. I've seen people go from rags to riches, from you know, mentally unstable, suicidal to just loving life and preaching about life and sharing wisdom with everybody else. You're looking at a prime example of that one here. I'm not the rags, the richest one yet, right? But yeah, you know what I'm saying, man? Like, you know, there's always a way out in every situation. You know, you can't always blame the people that put you in this situation because I remember losing $350,000, right? And my nose is tickling, bro. I hate when that shit happens, man. But um, I remember losing $350,000, right? And I blamed the people that I was surrounded with. And I, 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 I blamed them for so long. And the blame that I blamed them for is because I didn't want to take accountability that at the end of the day, I still, I'm still the one that made the decision to go ahead with the investment. You feel me? And that shit took me a long time to, to embrace. But once I embraced it, man, I started to see changes in my life. Not extreme, but gradual changes, man. And like Tony Robbins say, you know, you when you make progress, you're, um, no, no, no. He said, happiness equals progress. And once you start making progress, man, this shit just, you know, things just work out eventually. I'm in a position in my life now where I'm comfortable, which is better than where I used to be. Because, man, I would just wake up every day and just hate every day. And now I'm at a place where I can focus on my dreams. I can work on my passion. And I can invest in my passion. I'm in a good place. You know, I'm not in a wealthy place. But that is the goal, to build wealth. But I love this journey that I'm on. And I'm very grateful right now. I don't have toxic people in my life. I don't have ungrateful ass people in my life. I don't have needy ass people in my life. I don't like I don't have a lot of people in my life and I'm grateful for that cuz when I do open doors for the right people in my life because I would rather pursue my purpose and attract the right people that has the vision and that is aligned with my purpose. Cuz once you get once you like stop you got to learn to stop opening doors for people just because you feel lonely. Swallow that shit, man. Put that shit to the side. You feel lonely, suck it up or something. Okay, that may be bad advice, right? But find a way to get over that loneliness, man. Like, it's not always... Don't give in to your emotions all the freaking time, y'all. Because that shit will just ruin you and it will take you from top to bottom in a heartbeat. Okay? Because sometimes your emotions is not... It's not good to trust your emotions all the time. Sometimes you got to think ahead and you got to think logical because, you know, and and that's probably why people say men are just logical thinkers. We're not emotional beings, but we are emotional beings when we when we want to be. OK, and a lot of us practice 
compassion and empathy but i'm trying to make a point here as to in certain situations you can't let your emotions get the best of you okay and i guess i'm speaking in uh in perspective of an entrepreneur versus gender versus gender you know men versus women how they think because most of our entrepreneurs think the same way you got to surround yourself with lions who want to eat you can't surround yourself with people who want to eat but only want to eat off of your table, but don't want to bring shit to the table so all y'all can eat together. You know what I'm saying? Surround yourself with the right people, man, because it's life is already hard as it is. And if you're going to surround yourself with people that are just taken from you and they don't offer you nothing, they don't bring shit to the table as much as you bring to their table, then what's the point of you keeping them in your life? Why? Because of history? What's history got to do with anything, man? People got fucked up history with other people and, and they're so loyal to these people. I don't get why. Like your loyalty is invested to the wrong people. If you're so loyal to the wrong person or to the wrong people, imagine if you met the right people in your life. You hear me? Consider that shit, man. Because what if you want to start a business? You got all these toxic ass people making you procrastinate on your own life because let me tell you something the wrong people in your life will never encourage you to level up you know why because they don't want you to leave them behind that's why that's why they, that's why they don't they, they won't waste their time trying to help you level up because once you level up in the at the back of their head he gonna they, they'll be like oh sh shit she or he about to forget about me pretty soon as soon as they as soon as they level up they gonna forget all about us they don't want that shit happy people Positive people, the right people, people that are ambitious, people who got a purpose, people who are on a mission in life will always push you regardless if you go far, further ahead than them or you're just right beside them. They don't care how far you go ahead. They just want you to eat just like they're eating. Okay? It's like trees, man. It's like, it's like when trees grow. They look at each other grow. But not once do they complain, why is that tree growing bigger than me? Or why does that tree have more fruits than me? They don't compare. They don't care like that. You know, sometimes you got to treat yourself like a tree. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't look at other people and compare yourself and be like, why are they so far ahead than me and I'm here? You got your own journey, man. Walk your own journey. Walk, walk, walk your own journey and stay in your own lane, man. Don't focus on other people like that, but do take inventory of the people you got in your life. Because maybe you want to start something big, but you're so ashamed to share what you got that you want to share with the world with them like you don't want them to judge you for the shit that you want to do so you stay silent about it you know what i'm saying like that it's, it's, it's just messed up man it's messed up when you're surrounded by the wrong people and they don't push you they don't inspire you they don't encourage you they don't even bring out the best in you you fall off track they don't even put you back on track they just good with where you at anybody that's good Anybody that's good with where you're at in life, they don't care where you're going in life. Remember that one right there. That's a quote y'all need to live by. But anyways, man, I think that's all I got for this message, man. I hope y'all like this message. Leave a thumbs up if y'all resonate with it. If y'all like more shit like this, drop it in the comments. I'll make more like this. But hey, man, I got a lot of shit that I want to share with y'all. So if y'all got a topic y'all want me to speak on, hey, I'm Gucci with that too, okay? So until next time, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.